en bienvenidos a RBJ Harris Elementary Field School. Hoy vamos a explorar la cultura, música y historia de Argentina. I would like to thank all of our guests for coming. I would like to thank all of our students for sitting so nicely and paying attention as we get started here exploring our country, Argentina. Uh, <coughs> I uh, hope you got to see a few things on the slideshow. Um, we have a few displays around the cafeteria as well, showing neighborhoods like La Boca, the Cueva de las Manos, that our 3D art program worked on, the Cataratas Iguazú, as well as, um, of course, we got the flag over there that's featured in the uh, flag of Argentina. And we'll see a lot of things as we go forward with the music. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So in Argentina, the two days before Ash Wednesday are a public are public holidays for Carnival. Carnival was brought over to Argentina by Spanish and other settlers from Europe in the 1600s. The Spanish Carnival traditions later were influenced by African and other traditions, making Argentina's Carnival a unique celebration. This is a celebration that might be familiar to some. In the United States, we have something called Mardi Gras, a little bit similar. Uh, in Mexico, they have a carnival, a lot of different countries, but Argentina has one that's a, a little bit unique because of its different influences. The biggest and the wildest carnival events in Argentina happen in Hualeguachú, where there are parades every weekend from January until March. I think I see one coming now. Maybe they'll do a dance for us.
The Gaucho.
how they like to enjoy them. doing several types of dances, one of which is called Malama. So you might think like tap dancing, version of flamenco dancing, that kind of thing. But this dance is one that is truly an Argentine dance. It has something that's all of its own. You'll notice the outfits, the bombachos, kind of a baggier pant. Uh, <clears throat> the belts, the decorative belts, are something that's very Argentinian, very um, emblematic of the gaucho. And so we're going to see that dance, but also we're going to add a little something because there's also a more recent movement towards using bolas that you swing on stage. So the things that we saw, the little simpler that you swing on stage to help make the rhythms. And some shows have even featured more modern, like an electronic music beat to do the Milano to. So we're going to see a little bit of that all put together. Every year, in Arge from all over Argentina, gauchos gather in Córdoba to celebrate the National Malambo Festival. And this has been going over on for like over four decades now. So, 40 years. One, uh, it's one of the most important events in Malambo, so I think that we should see one of these Malambo acts for ourselves. So during this time, 
young professionals, high school and college students, along with trade union members, were targeted by the government because they didn't agree with their political views. They thought that these people would challenge their power, and so they would take them and hold them prisoner. Right, but they kept them without registering any charges against them, and they never went to trial. So then when relatives would come looking for them, the police or the military would pretend that they had no idea where they were. They had no record of them. They had just disappeared. And so these people came to be known as the disappeared or los desaparecidos. So at that time, a group of mothers who were trying to learn what had happened to their children organized and they began to march around the Plaza de Mayo in Buenos Aires in front of the presidential palace. They are known as Las Madres de Plaza de Mayo. make sure, as they say in their, um, in their chant, to have their children return to them, and for the people who are guilty of these human rights violations to be brought to justice. I think they're very impressive. They march today, they march still, they march for civil rights all over the world.
the Argentine Tango. Today it is an elegant dance, which many people associate with the upper class and expensive black tie parties. But the tango began in the underclasses. It was born on the outskirts of Buenos Aires, on the docks, and it is one of the most now one of the most famous and influential dances in the world. The tango brought together working class European immigrants, um, indigenous Argentinians, and former slaves. Everybody came together on the docks to have a good time with the tango. With its rich history, the tango is a fascinating tradition in dance which reveals just a wealth of information about all of Argentina's traditions melting pot. So now I present to you the Argentine tango.
always there asking if they can help with something. So I do try to put them the flowers on the stage, letters, windows, items. We try to put up as many of those as they can to help decorate those. Um, some of the bricks that you saw at the back glitter. Sometimes after school, a couple of kids will come. Hey, can you help me with anything? Oh, let, me, let me give you something to help with. So a lot of these things, um, I mean, I do, but the children here can already help me with. Teachers, everybody is so supportive. And it's just wonderful to be at a school where you're able to pull something off like this. And honestly, it not even really feel like it's that much hard work. I mean, you know, it is, it is. But at the same time, it's fun, we have fun. And then, as you can see, we, they put together a, a wonderful show for everyone. So, thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. Excited about spring break and what a way to capture that. What a wonderful 